Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I decided to do a new movie review this week as a tribute to one of the most funniest, very well known comedians from the UK. His name was Rick Mayo. He's been commonly best known for his role in the TV show The Young Ones, where he plays Rick, the, yeah, the loudmouth of the game. And he went on to do the TV show Bottom, and as well as many others that he follows. He also was best known for another show called The Black Adder, which I believe that's the show with Rowan Atkinson, who went on to do Mr. Bean. He just recently passed away at the age of 56 due to a heart attack after having a morning jog. And as a result to his tribute, I decided to review one of the most cult classics that I've ever seen since I was a kid. That film is called Drop Dead Fred. The 1991 film about a wacky and crazy imaginary friend that one girl actually grew up with ever since she was a little girl. It stars Rick Mayo, you know, once again along with Phoebe Cates, who's been best known for her roles such as Fast Times at Witchmont High, along with movies like Gremlins, Shag, and so many others. Along with Carrie Fisher from Star Wars, Ashley Peldon, Marsha Mason from the movie The Goodbye Girl, Ron Eldord from the TV show Bakersfield PD, and many others, Tim Madison, Daniel Giroux, Keith Charles, Bridget Fonda, and Eleanor Mundell. And it's directed by A. Dale Young. The movie begins when a young woman named Elizabeth Lindsay Cronin, who's played by Phoebe Cates, has been suffering from a stressful midlife crisis of her own. She's been recently separated from her husband named Charles, who's played by Tim Madison, only to discover that she's been cheating on another woman named Annabella, who's played by Bridget Fonda. But things were getting even much worse even for her that once she arrived at her public phone, her purse has been stolen and so was her car. Forcing to walk back to work, she, she somehow arrives late and got fired from her job. Meanwhile, her mother, Polly, played by Marsha Mason, had appeared and decided to take Lidsey to her old house. And once they went inside her old bedroom, they went in and checked inside the closet to find a lot of belongings that were inside, only to discover that a tape shut jack-in-the-box had appeared. Once that the tape was taken off, a magical, wacky, and crazy imaginary friend appears by the name of Drop Dead Fred, who's played by Rick Mayall. But dealing with Lindsay's problems, so throughout a series of flashbacks, it is revealed that Fred has wrecked a lot of havocs for Lindsay. He also gave her happiness and was finally released from her mother. Fred has agreed to help Lindsay become happy again, but she believes that it only happens when she wins her husband back. But however, Fred's childish antics would do him more harm than good. Later on, Polly decided to take Lindsay to a psychiatrist, but once she was in the waiting room, meeting up with other patients, reveals so many imaginary friends that Fred has. Uh, part of their own team of their own. Of course, the doctor has prescribed medication to get rid of Fred, whom he and Polly believes that it was a fragment of her imagination. Of course, Fred discovers that he's planning to cheat on Lindsay with Annabella. The, the two had decided to escape in a dream sequence in which Lindsay is finally be able to stand up with her mother and decided that she's no longer afraid. So Fred decided to tell Lindsay that she doesn't need him anymore and, and soon disappears. But part of that was even worse when Lindsay decided to leave Charles 
and asserted herself to her mother who blames Lindsay for, for her father's to leave home. Um, Lizzie decided to go to her friend Mickey's house and on the meeting they both expressed interest to become more than just friends. So Mickey's daughter comes up to them and blames Drop Jeff Fred for the mischief that he's been going through over the years. So that's exactly what the movie was all about. And, well, I gotta admit, it had its moments. Uh, it, it was a cult classic. Uh, I remember watching this when I was very young, and I wasn't much of a big fan of the film. I have to admit that because I always loved Rick Mayo from his TV show, The Young Ones, who, had, who definitely plays, of course, the funny bastard <laughs> of the group. But, um, yeah, prior to this film, though, I did feel sorry for Phoebe Cates' character, Lindsay, because, you know, it's always hard to live through a lot of crazy things going on in your life when you know something bad was going to happen. Be living with her mother all this time and giving her some hard times and, you know, dealing with work and all this other crap that's been happening. So, yeah. It's, it's just sad to see her you know, dealing with this all this time. But of course, you know, there were a lot of crazy antics throughout the whole movie, which basically Fred just does a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, one of the most memorable scenes I saw in the film was when, when they went inside an art gallery and then <laughs> Fred you know, lay down flat on his back and, and slide in only to go straight to the young woman under her, her skirt. Yeah, an upskirt, <laughs> yeah, and that's where his eyes pop right open, like, just like that. No panties. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that scene. I, I know a lot of people have seen it, but other than that, though, um, it was worth watching. It's not not as good as, as a lot of people have said. I, I know this movie has been panned by critics everywhere. Some people even hated this movie, but I gotta admit, it wasn't nearly as bad as some people think. But it certainly was better than <laughs> than the other Fred movie that I saw. Yes, you know, the one that has the high-pitched, screeching, chickmunk voice of his. It was basically a six-year-old trapped inside a 15-year-old body. Yeah, you know that, Fred. <laughs> I'd rather take Drop Dead Fred over that guy any day, that's for sure. If you ever get a chance, though, in honor of his um, recent passing, definitely check this movie out. I think it's definitely worth a chance. Even if you're not a big fan of it, I think you should definitely watch this. So, anyway, I give Drop Dead Fred a solid three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora. And I'll see you later. And rest in peace, Rick Mayo. Bye.